Hello YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today I have something new. This is DYS Aria 4-in-1 ESC with BL Heli 32 software on it. So let's do the unboxing first. It comes in nice plastic bag. Here is the manual. And in the box you can find some bolts, plastic bolts and nuts. This is the 4-in-1 ESC. Let's look at this size and some connection cables. So let's talk about specifications first uh, it is it is uh, 45 amps ESC four of them and can hold up to 50 amps of burst current input voltage is from 3 to 5 s and it has in inside it has also has a BC 5 volt and with uh, 3 amperes and 9 volt 1.5 ampere current so this 9 volt one is excellent for let's say your VTX and 5 volt you can use for uh, powering your flight controller <clears throat> all right uh, standard 32 bit ARM Cortex microprocessor but what is more important it supports one shot and D shot. D shot 150, 300, 600, and 1200 as well. So, depending on your FC board, you can use D shot protocol for the highest possible precision. Also, standard XT60 connector. And what I like here. On the other side, you can see those uh, those filters. These filters are just right next to this connector for F FC board, and it's good that they are so close. It means that it will uh, really clear up the the voltage uh, for your FC board or VTX, so you will not have no interferential. The other cool stuff is this cooling board which is quite nice. I mean this this board is quite thin and this cooling board will help will help uh, cooling the microprocessors MOSFETs which provide current to all four motors. You can see here, I don't know if you can see it, but it, this is the 9 volt output. Also, very close to filters on this side. So, let me try to zoom in. Yeah, you can see it now. 9 volt output. These are connectors for the motor. And of course, this is two types of connectors. I mean it's only one type but one is if you are going to solder your FC board on your FC board or if you have a FC board already with this connector let me show you how it connects let's say this FC board and just connect sorry wrong way just connect it here. Whoops, wrong again. Connect it here. Like this. And this other part goes to your FC board. Like this. <clears throat> and as I said, this cooling part 
you can see it has enough space this th that's the other good thing about this uh, ESC so let me show you with these bolts and nuts I will just put one here so there is a plenty of room as you can see there is a plenty of room for these standoffs and you can actually let me do it like this just for now so if you use that these standoffs you see there's a plenty of room for this ESC to have enough airflow which is needed for the cooling of the de device uh, another good thing about this CSC, it has uh, some sensors inside and these sensors are for current, for voltage and uh, you can use it on your FC board, just let me check a second on the manual, you can use it on your FC board that telemetry port with a current meter for all four ESCs and uh, what else T you yeah sure it has a built-in temperature sensor so all these telemetry data you can actually see uh, on your o OSD and that's it this is really really well made well made for in one esc i will test it in one of my quads i like this uh, they paid attention to make a room for putting standoffs so if you want to build a clean installation with uh, with a lot of airflow i mean every esc needs uh, cooling this is well done board and these filters for the uh, integrated bsc this is nice thing and 9 volt output you don't see that usual 9 one, 9 volts output for the your vtx it's really really good addition okay uh, thanks for watching link is in video description and see you next time bye